Looking back at your life, do you feel as though there's some sort of unbalance in it? Some sort of way as though social, as though mental, or physical health? Now, in your day-to-day -day life, it can be very hard to achieve the goals that you want to achieve on top of the things that others may want you to do, and that is okay. That should not discourage you. And in this speech, I'm going to help you look at more informative and more personal views of how to achieve a positive mental and physical health. On top of that, I want to help others also achieve the lifestyle that they both want and crave as well. And in a few short steps, you could change your life and I'm going to teach you how. So for my main points, for my first one, getting a healthy sleep schedule. My second, incorporating workouts into your weeks. My third, scheduling your weeks, your days, your months. And my fourth is just maintaining a proper social life. So first, a healthy sleep schedule. Adults should be getting seven plus hours of sleep a night. A teen should be getting eight to 10 hours of sleep each night. Now, sleep should be a priority as you won't feel drained every day. You'll be able to focus better. You'll be able to just feel better inside. Um, it'll increase your mood. You won't be so cranky. You'll be able to maintain good relationships through your day to days, make sound decisions, build your immune system. You won't feel so sick and so tired each day. And this also helps tremendously with stress and anxiety. Now, your body is on a biological clock. So when you're feeling drained each night, you want to just not fight it. You want to just lay in bed, get ready, get some water in you, put a TV show on and just try your best to fall asleep. Instead of fighting that urge, instead of trying to get more work done, it's just going to hurt you in the end. Now for my next one, incorporating exercises into your weeks. Exercising is a great way to reduce stress and anxiety. This is a great way to drown out whatever is going on in your life. Get some running in, get some walking in, even getting reps in with dumbbells, making a workout routine. It just keeps you motivated, keeps you goal oriented and helps you drown that stress and anxiety out of your life. Even if it's just for an hour, 10 minutes or so. This not only does that, it hires your self-esteem, makes you feel more confident in yourself, lets you achieve goals on weight, muscle mass, things like that. It also helps you sleep, helps you stay focused, and it gives you more energy through your day. So a little goes a long way with exercising. Don't feel discouraged if you're only going for 10, 15 minutes each day because that's more than the average person. You wanna go little by little, achieve more and more each time, each week, each month. Next is scheduling days, weeks, and months through calendars. So this is a great way to stay goal-oriented as well, stay motivated. This is a great way to lessen your procrastination, further yourself in your career, in your school career, even in doing chores, things like dishes, laundry. A few ways to help with this is to just integrate your new schedule into your old schedule. So maybe if you have lunch every day at 12 o'clock, you want to keep that there, keep your classes where they are. Maybe you go to the gym in the mornings, maybe do laundry at night, set a day for grocery shopping, set a day for dishes, just things to help you keep yourself motivated, keep yourself cleaning, keep yourself doing your chores, stay out of that depression, stay out of that laying around all day, feeling unmotivated because that in turn just brings on more stress, more anxiety, feeling like you need to be doing more than what you are. And you also get to check off the boxes that you set out for yourself each day or week, and it just feels very rewarding. So next is maintaining a positive social life. Obviously, humans need social interaction. They need that support system, the people around them, to help them feel better about themselves, to help them feel like they're doing something, they're making an impact on people. I know for myself, when I hear that people tell me they're proud of me, it just makes me feel so good and like I wanna do more and I wanna get more done and I wanna keep that motivation going and keep making people proud. Now with this, it is easy to close yourself off, 
to build those walls and you just can't do that because that'll just further you into a depression, into an anxiety state, into stressfulness and trying to do things alone never works out. So thank you for listening. In conclusion, I just want to say that this has to come from a place of self-love. This has to come from a place of wanting to be better for yourself. So change that sleep schedule. Make some exercises for yourself. Schedule out your days. You know, hang out with your family. Do things like that for you so that you can feel better about yourself. And you will. Each week, each month, you'll feel that results. You'll feel that happiness inside that's growing and it'll just be really good for yourself.